So let's uh, further this discussion. Is this proposal legal? Let's bring in Scott Vernick, a privacy law attorney. Joseph Di Benedetto is a criminal defense attorney as well. Good to see you both. Um, Morning. Scott, this strikes me as, as potentially a violation of the First Amendment. Listen. I don't know what happened in Aniston, and I don't mean any disrespect to anybody down there, but I got to tell you, somebody forgot about the First Amendment. I mean, a police officer in Aniston doesn't lose his First Amendment rights when he checks in at the uh, station in the morning. I mean, government employees in particular have First Amendment rights, and this policy by Aniston is just particularly overbroad. You know, Joseph, uh, government employees uh, are not deprived of their First Amendment rights simply because they sign on as an employee, are they? No, but what we have to keep in mind here, this is not a total ban. Um, you're still entitled to say what you wish. They're simply asking you not to disclose that you're, you're a city employee. I mean... It, yeah, but that's... I mean, what is, what is the logic behind that, with all due respect? I mean, the, the fact of the matter is, is that people are free to go on Facebook and disclose that they're an Aniston employee and say what they want within certain parameters. It's very, very simple. You work for yourself. You have employees that work for you. If, if, a, if your employee is bad-mouthing you to anybody and everybody, I, I mean, I think it's safe to say that, that your employee would not be working for you for long. So, uh, I mean, it does not promote a but healthy... But that's what, that's what does makes... Does not promote a healthy Joseph, work environment makes, far from it. Scott, let me Joseph, jump in here. Makes, I, I did sure. a quick review of some, some constitutional Supreme Court cases, and it would appear that, that commenting negatively on your workplace and conditions and other workplace matters, all of that is constitutionally protected, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think it is. First of all, you know, if you saw what happened up in Connecticut with the uh, ambulance uh, company, American Medical Response, you know, the NLRB filed a charge and a complaint that's now going to trial over, uh, you know, the fact that somebody got fired for being on Facebook and talking about her supervisor in general working conditions. Public employees, they have more First Amendment rights than uh, private sector employees. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with, you know, going on Facebook and commenting about, all you right. know, general things Gentlemen. going on in Aniston. We've got to cut it off a little short here because we're going to go to an event with the president. Thank you both.